do the Pond Star slash Passion Fruit Martini. What you want to first do is take your shaker. So to make the sugar syrup for the Pond Star Martinis, you're supposed to boil one cup of water with one to two cups of sugar. But I'm only making four, so I'm just gonna kind of do it by eye. And if I need more, I'll just make more later. So you've got to wait until the water comes to the boil and then you add the sugar and then you mix it until it's fully dissolved and then you pour it out and let it cool. So once the sugar has fully dissolved, you want to reduce the heat. I'm gonna move it to a different hob. Uh, the pan and then let, let it simmer for five to 10 minutes. You wanna put enough ice in it to be able to cool the drink down, but not enough to dilute it. You then need to take your measuring thing. <laughs> so this is for one drink. You want to put 30 mils of Pessoa in, which is a passion fruit liqueur. So 30 mils, I'm kind of doing about there. Sort of what I said was for 35, but yeah. And then you want 30 mils of a vanilla vodka. So I'm using absolute vanilla. The same measurement of whatever you just put in for the Pessoa. And then just shake it. And then this passion fruit puree, which I got off Amazon, you want about 15 to 20 mils of this. It kind of, it is all sort of depending on how strong of each flavor you would like in your drink. So for the puree, I've measured up to about here. Into the shaker. And now you want 10 mils of either lemon or lime juice. I'm using lemon, but that's only because we have no lime. And you can also use fresh lemon juice or fresh lime juice. You'll want five to 10 mils of the sugar syrup that you made earlier, depending on how sweet you want your cocktail. Um, so you should have, once you've taken it out of the pan, you should have put it into something to cool off. Now you want to measure 10 mils of it. You then want to put the lid of the shaker on and make sure it's secure with the cap thing on top. Hold the bottom and the top and shake. When you're shaking, you can kind of hear when the consistency changes. You can sort of tell when it's getting more frothy. As you can see, it's really frothy. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the strainer. And I said you could either hold it like that with that or you can put like two fingers over the top with your hand sort of gripped around it, like a claw. Take the martini glass. And there you have it, your simple to make porn star slash passion fruit martini. You can cut up a passion fruit uh, into halves or quarters and put it on top like you would get in a cocktail bar. You can see that there's, there's, there's a color difference where the froth starts that's what you want at the top of your drink you want to when you're shaking it you want to create enough froth to create <laughs> this and then the last thing to do if you're serving it to someone i don't actually like prosecco but if you do or the version you're giving it to does then you give them a little shot of prosecco with the cocktail i just quickly wanted to say that i've had this sat for um, a few minutes now and as you can see it's like less firm than a normal porn star martini would be after that time frame and basically if you want it to be as foamy as you would get in a cocktail bar it still tastes the same but it's got a different sort of um texture um you can add either an egg white or like these drops which are like drink firmers i've not got them and i didn't really want to put an egg white in it but it tastes the same and it's really nice so and this is the final product with the half a passion fruit in and the shot of it's actually champagne but you can do prosecco thanks so much for watching my video i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope you enjoyed the cocktails that you make